Good evening, Church, and welcome to evening prayer for Monday, the 30th of November. We are now in the season of Advent, an important season as we wait and watch, not just for the celebrations of Christmas, but we wait for Jesus to be born and born again in our midst. We also wait for his second coming. So I'm not sure where you're at, whether you've started getting excited, but the last several weeks have been really hard. I know it's true for us as a church community, but even amongst the people that we know and we love and we care for, several have been unwell, in and out of hospital. We've got a few friends who have lost loved ones. A couple of our friends have lost a parent each recently. And I feel weary. I feel helpless. And so this evening, as we begin, I want to start with the prayer that was used for prayer for the nation yesterday, a prayer for family and friends and loved ones. Loving Father, as we approach a Christmas season that looks very different to normal, we thank you that while we may not be able to be with our families and loved ones in person, we know that you are always with them. Where there is weariness, would you bring your rest? Where there is helplessness, would you bring fresh encouragement? Where there is despair, would you bring hope? So this evening, let's wait and watch in hope. So if you want to join me in the daily prayer book for the season of Advent, we are on page 205. Our readings for this evening are Psalm 87 and John chapter 1. So let's take a moment as we begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. So we turn now to God's word and our psalm is Psalm 87, which can be found on page 777 at the back of the daily prayer book. That's Psalm 87. The Lord has chosen Zion for himself. His foundation is on the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, Zion, city of our God. I record Egypt and Babylon as those who know me. Behold Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia. In Zion were they born. And of Zion it shall be said, each one was born in her. And the Most High himself has established her. The Lord will record as he writes up the peoples. This one also was born there. And as they dance, they shall sing. All my fresh springs are in you. 
the Lord has chosen Zion for himself. Lord, as you call us to your city, founded on the rock of ages, let the springs of living water rise within us to eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. think it's quite appropriate that we've got Ethiopia mentioned in this psalm as we continue to pray. The Lord has chosen Zion. The Lord chooses us. The Lord calls us. And they are springs of his eternal life. So let's turn to our New Testament reading, which is taken from the Gospel of John. Chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. It can be found on page 89 in the Church Bibles. John chapter 1 and starting at verse 35. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated, anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. There's so much in these verses. As we look upon the Lamb of God. And it was Andrew who was the first disciple to be called. But we also see here the mention of Peter. Jesus gave him a new identity. From Simon, he became Peter. And just like Jesus said to Andrew and to Peter, he says to us, come and see. He is the Lamb of God. So let's turn back to the daily prayer book. And let's join in the responsory, which is on page 209. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. And so we join in the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel 
to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. And so we turn now to a time of intercession. There's so much to pray for. Let's continue to pray for Ethiopia. And in this week, um, we will see the end of lockdown and we will be moving into a tiered approach. But we still need to be careful. We still need to protect our loved ones, our communities. Let's also pray for Nigeria and for the terrorist killings of farm workers. Let's pray for the Christmas program in our church. Let's continue to pray for Linda, who is back in hospital. And if you joined in with our service yesterday, you'd have heard Adelson. He asked for prayer for his cousin, who was very unwell. Well, we heard on um, Sunday evening that he lost his cousin. So let's continue to hold Adelson and his family in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we turn to you in prayer, we wait and we watch and we long, oh Father, for your hope. Father, thank you that you call each one of us to come and see. Father, we, we choose, oh Father, this evening to, to look up from our weariness, from our helplessness, from our despair, and know that you are the God who gives us rest. You are the God who encourages us, and you are the God who gives us hope. So as we bring to you our hurting world, our nation, our community, our loved ones, and our own lives, O oh Father, we ask for your light, O oh Father. We ask for your life. We ask for your hope. Father, we pray in a special way for the nation of Ethiopia. Father, we pray that your light will shine in the darkness. And we pray also for Nigeria, for the families of those farm workers who have been killed. Father, we ask for your peace that passes all understanding. And this season is a season of comfort and joy, and we ask for your comfort. Father, we continue to pray for our nation even as lockdown will come to an end this week. Father, we pray for wisdom. And Father, we ask for, for patience as we continue to wait for all of this to be over. Father, we bring to you the people in our community who need your special touch. Father, each of us knows so many who are hurting who are juggling something or the other, oh Father. And it's hard. But you are someone who knows suffering. You walked with your disciples then and you walk with us now. And we ask, oh Father, that you will hold in your loving arms, Linda. Father, we ask for your healing. Father, we claim that it is by your stripes she is healed. Father, we pray for Mike and we pray for the rest of the family and we ask for your peace, your comfort and your hope. And Father, in a special way, we want to remember Adelson and his family. Father, for the family as they grieve the loss of Ronald. Father, you're the only one who, who can speak peace into, into our lives that hurt like this. 
Father, I pray that you will bear this family up in your everlasting arms, that you will be their Prince of Peace. Father, at this time, we bring to you all the people on our hearts and we name them before you, O oh Father. Bring them your comfort. Father, we pray that you will surround them with your hope this evening, that you will lift them up, that you will lift each one of us up as we continue to wait on you. Hear our prayer, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue to worship, we're going to worship with the next song, which is called, Is He Worthy? And the song reminds us that he loves us. He holds us. He promises to dwell with us. So let's worship. Do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through? We do. Do you wish that you could see it all me new? We do. Is all creation growing? Is he worthy? Is he 
And so we turn now to our collect for um, the Advent season. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life, in which your son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So church, this evening, as we continue to wait and watch, let's exchange our weariness, our helplessness, our despair for his rest his encouragement, and his hope. May he continue to dwell with you and journey with you. God bless. <laughs>